So if you watched my last video, you'll know that I've been making games in many different ways for almost 10 years now. And about 90% of that time, I was a solo developer, making games and levels completely on my own. And that can be pretty lonely because a lot of the time you're relying on yourself for pretty much everything. And this can do two things. One, it can create a lot of self-confidence because over time you learn more and overcome and that's fantastic. But what can also happen is you can narrow your focus and it can cause you to take a lot less risks and stop exploring. At least that's what I've seen in myself. So with what I knew about being a solo developer, the whole fiasco with the Unity fees was a recipe for disaster for those developers. Solo developers can't pivot like some teams can. And this means a lot more time doing things you never thought you'd need to do again, like potentially learn a new engine. So here are my eight tips, my tricks, and my pieces of advice that really changed my developer journey. And it's for every solo dev out there, both old and new. First tip that really turned things around for me was just setting clear goals. It's so easy to get lost in the sea of possibilities, especially if you're trying to learn something new like an engine, but having specific goals gives you direction and purpose. And breaking these goals down into short-term and long-term objectives helps even more. This way, you'll always have tangible targets to work towards. Think of it as you would building a staircase, each step bringing you closer to your ultimate destination. And don't be afraid to revise and refine your goals as you progress. As you gain more insight and experience, your vision is going to evolve. And that's perfectly normal and a sign of growth. Flexibility in goal setting is as important as having them in the first place. So don't be afraid when those changes come. Tip number two, effective time management. As a solo developer, your time is seriously your most precious commodity. And I've been there, juggling between coding, debugging, game design, and then throwing in art and music. It can get crazy. It is super overwhelming. And that's why I try to learn to prioritize tasks based on their impact on the project and its urgency. Setting realistic deadlines and breaking down projects into manageable chunks has been a game changer for me and makes things so much easier process. And it not only keeps me on track, but also helps prevent burnout and keeps me moving forward so that I'm consistently making progress. Also, just try using some productivity techniques like the Promodoro technique. I know I'm butchering it, but it's basically taking more breaks within your work time. These methods have helped me and can help you maximize focus and productivity during your work sessions. Remember, it's not about working more, but making sure you're getting stuff done when you are working. And that brings us to tip number three, which which is all about embracing continuous learning. Stagnation is the enemy of progress. As we've all come to learn, and this is a rapidly changing field, so being up to date with the latest technologies and trends is critical. Taking even a little time to explore new engines, learn new software, or just best practices is a great way to stay ahead of the game. I also can't recommend enough that joining online communities and forums has opened up a world of knowledge for me and provided amazing support. Remember, the more you can learn, the more powerful your toolkit becomes. And don't just limit yourself to learning new technical skills. Understanding design principles and user experiences, as well as project management, can greatly enhance your capabilities as a solo developer. It's more just becoming a more well-rounded professional. This brings us to number four. Solo developing does not need to mean isolation. Connecting with other developers, whether it's through meetups, forums, or social media, has been instrumental in my journey. It's a source of inspiration, advice, and sometimes just a friendly ear to bounce ideas off of. Mentorships, in particular, have been game-changing for me. Having someone more experienced to guide you can significantly accelerate your growth as a developer. I also highly recommend working with others on their projects or collaborating on a game jam. Not only does this expand your own skill set, but also introduces you to a community of like-minded individuals. Together then, we can all learn, grow, and just create amazing things. Tip number five is all about celebrating those small wins. It can be incredibly easy to get caught up in chasing those big goals, but acknowledging and celebrating those small victories along the way can fuel your motivation and keep you moving forward. Completing a challenging feature, fixing a stubborn bug, or even just mastering a new technique, they're all worthy of celebration. It's a way of recognizing your progress and giving yourself the credit you deserve. And don't forget about telling others about those achievements, no matter how small. Having people around you to support you will make a difference and people often forget about it. Celebrating those small wins creates a positive feedback loop that keeps you motivated and excited about your journey. 
With number six, I want to talk about the power of utilizing pre-made assets, whether it's stock images, UI kits, or even open source libraries. Using these existing libraries can save you a significant amount of time and effort. It's like having an entire toolkit at your disposal, allowing you to focus on the unique aspects of your project. Just remember to respect the licensing agreements and give proper credit where it's due. It's really unfortunate that this kind of has a negative connotation because it really is a game changer. Using pre-made assets, if you used correctly can enhance your work. Professional grade graphics or well-tested code can elevate your project and make it more polished, especially if you're working on a tight schedule or budget like most solo developers are. So use assets, please. So with tip number seven, I just want to remind people to just remember to have fun. It's easy to get lost in the technicalities and deadlines, but don't forget why you started this journey in the first place. Remember to embrace that creativity, that problem solving, and the satisfaction of seeing your ideas come to life, which is amazing. Enjoying that process not only makes you a happier developer, but it also leads to more inspired and innovative work. Also, just having fun also improves your productivity and creativity. When you're passionate about what you're doing, you're more likely to think outside the box and experiment with new ideas, which ultimately creates something exceptional. So please don't stop having fun because it really is exceptional what we're doing here. So finally, tip number eight, persevere and don't give up. The solo developer journey is so challenging and you're bound to face hurdles and moments of doubt. But remember, every setback is an opportunity to learn and grow. Keep pushing forward, seek help when you need it and believe in your abilities. The most successful developers are the ones who weather those storms and emerge stronger on the other side. Surrounding yourself with that supportive community that I mentioned earlier can be a lifeline during those tough times. So reach out to fellow developers and share share your challenges, and draw strength from their experiences. You're not alone in this journey, and together we can overcome almost any obstacle. So there you have it. Those are my top eight tips or tricks or whatever you want to call it, pieces of advice that kind of transformed my solo developer journey. Remember, these tips are just a reflection of my personal experience, but I truly believe they can be a game changer for you as well. I know this is a hard time for solo developers, but please don't give up. The opportunities for developers have never been more abundant. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching and continue creating and innovating and I will see you next time.